Day three. I got my elephant gift behind me. I don't know if you can see it there with the drift. That was Joe taking a warm up lap. How's it going, Andy? Good. It's flat burn, man. Putting on my helmet hurts. Oh. You see Joe's mullet? You see Joe's mullet? quads today so we're running with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 yeah come on crank it up Here we go, here we go. And go! Go! That's Aries. Here comes CDS. Come on, come on! And go! Woo! 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 Dr. Dual Sport on his big GS 1100. Get out of here! Still waiting for a minute stop to get that bike started. Here we go, here we go, on there, Peggy. Yeah! Come on, everyone, everyone, come on, come on, come on. Get out of here. Come on, Brett. Here we go, go, Cabeza, get, get, get. Get on out of here! hi -ya! Come on, Joe! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Come on! Yeah! I missed his butt! Hit his butt! I hit the fondest button. I'm back in the dust. I think I've just got five speeds on the TT. I need to test it out again. A little squirrely. A little squirrely, but we're good.
was an amazing day here in Moab. It took a while to get things rolling. Everide and Goku Basa. It took a little while to get here with our brother Jay, with uh, Everide's brother Jay. So we, we did some, I like to call it fish and chips. I can't remember the name of it. It's uh, fins, and, fins and things, I think. Yeah, that's it. Fins and things. And so we did fins and things and got some good footage of that. And then after that, we went to back to the back to the camp well the staging area I guess the parking lot and while we were there we had some wheelie contests with Joe and Duff Factor on the little 80 and we had some food and I ate my sand my, my uh, salami my sausages had some homemade butter bread uh, butter the home I had some homemade banana bread that my wife built, built, she made for us and back in Tennessee, shared that with the group and we waited and I played with my kite a little bit and got some little aerial footage, take a picture of that. Then we went, once ever I finally showed up, I made a great first impression. I knocked his helmet off his bike. <laughs> I knocked the cameras off. Went face down right in the right in the dirt. Right on the sandstone, actually. I think it was pretty bad. Yeah. I felt the uh, it's like, oh that's the right way to meet your YouTube buddy man. So I felt sorry about that. Sorry, Everide. Look at that, yeah. Look at Minnesota. He's like, woohoo! <laughs> Kicking his feet out. Yeah! Quite the amazing trip. Glad we're all dusty. Get up in the front, it won't be dusty at all. Oh, oh, somebody went down. Looks like Ness went down. Ness is on the KTM today. Back on it. Oh, first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear. Hey, it does have six gears. Look at that. I had no idea. Been riding it for two days and I still just as clicky, clickety, clicky off we go. All right, so. Back to what I was saying while we waited for Everide and the and the boys from Utah. Once they showed up, we ended up did we did Hell's Revenge, and that was what Moab is amazing for. Quite the impressive stop. Here's some pictures. Very cool to see sandstone and you're going up almost 90 degree cliff faces coming down the same type of cliff faces it was incredible a year ago I would have never thought I'd be doing this 